welcome to deposit. Face pat it is. Two things in there for our audience before they go off on the tangent in their own brains and start imagining what you do. I heard you say pop up shops. I heard what is it exactly that you sell? Well, I'm in the cannabis field. So when I'm home in Los Angeles, we have, you know, warehouses, we have grow ops. So um, I have my own strains developing. So back home, I sell more THC based things um here in atlanta which is the other state that i live in the other half of the time i'm more cbd based and smoke shop materials vaping all that type of thing so um like when asked what i do i just say i'm in the cannabis field so people kind of like just have an idea like okay she might be a grower she might you know just be a distributor um so i kind of cover i made sure to cover every base in that aspect so yeah um what made you, I got a lot of questions now, uh, kind of <laughs> going off of that. Like, that's a really dope, uh, and I don't know, starting at 15, that's a lot of ways we can go with this. But I guess the first question for me is like, how did you end up coming from a state like California? I'm assuming, is that where you're originally from? Yes. So coming from a state where cannabis is legalized already, um, has a, already has like a track record and an infrastructure for it there what made you decide to come to georgia where it is more regulated um especially up until the past few years uh, where it was very difficult to do anything cannabis related here what made you decide to come to this state of all states um well what initially brought me here was a relationship so that's initially how i got in the state of georgia um and then afterwards i kind of just like got introduced to the city myself as my own person um, outside of the person that I was with. So um, just here, I had to do something while I was here. And since what I was doing wasn't all the way legal, um, parts of it was, which is CBD and, you know, having smoke shops or, you know, just selling all the materials needed to smoke other than just weed. So um, with just the little things that I did have, I just got into that. And, you know, with the smoke shop situation, it's just about getting a tobacco license, your sales use and um, sales use and stuff like that. Um, being just acclimating the city. So that way, you know, you're doing stuff as legal as possible. Um, but I'm very still deep rooted back home. I go home almost every month. So when I say I, I kind of spend even time, I, I kind of balance both. Gotcha. Gotcha. All right, Pat, go ahead. I, I'll I'll jump back in with more, but all right. Well, being that I feel like she brought up balancing, but well, before that, because we still are talking about products and everything, you also have beauty products, am I correct? Yeah, that's something um I started in 2019. It was like a little adventure with my daughter. Um, and that was again something that Atlanta would um allow, which was a CBD, you know based product so with um the lady i was working with she created my own skin and hair care line um which i still have the product developing and as of right now i just have like a after tattoo healing balm i have a pain cream i have five different flavors of a body butter um a face wash a face moisturizer and a hair oil and everything is um completely natural so it's nothing harsh in anything or anything that would break anybody out. Um, everything is shea butter and essential oil based. So that's where um, that came from. Um, right up my alley. She started talking about face washes and, and oil. <laughs> yep. Yep. I know we're going to get the link anyway for the viewers, but yep. I'm going to need the uh, purchase links for that. Yep. Okay. Dope. Dope. See? Dope link ups. <laughs> 